top five things all Baltimore Ravens must do to defeat those Cincinnati Bengals. Let's go. Number five, tackle. You have to tackle the Cincinnati Bengals offensive players because if you fail to tackle, as the Baltimore Ravens have learned before, against not only the Cincinnati Bengals, but plenty of other teams, when it came to poor tackling, it results in bad plays for your defense. So, with these Cincinnati Bengals, open field tackles, group tackles, solo tackles, assisted tackles, they need to tackle the Cincinnati Bengals. Number four, offensive line must protect Lamar Jackson. We've seen it time and time again. When Lamar Jackson is blitzed, he can still have success, but his best and most consistent success comes when he got a clean pocket, when he's protected, when he ain't got all the pressure in his face every two seconds. When Lamar Jackson has time to throw that ball, ooh, Lamar Jackson has time to throw that ball, and it's a beautiful thing. And you could say that same thing for any quarterback, but we ain't talking about any quarterback, we're talking about the Baltimore Ravens. So, Baltimore Ravens, protect your QB. Do what you gotta do. Yes, the offensive line is decimated. Yes, Ronnie Stanley is out. Yes, Tyler Linderbaum is out, but, they still have guys that have started in this league before, and tomorrow they're going to be starting in this league again in Patrick McCary and Sam Mustafa. And yeah, the offensive line is going to be mixed up a little bit, and you're going to sprinkle some Patrick Ricard in there as well. But you must protect Lamar Jackson at all costs. That will make the flow of your offense go so much better as we all ready no number three use Zay flowers as a decoy now when i say this one do not get me wrong you want to involve Zay flowers because obviously when Zay flowers got the ball in his hands beautiful things happen we see the spin moves we see the yak we see him making people miss it is a wonderful thing but you can use that still do that still implement Zay flowers of course but use him to set other people up too. The Baltimore Ravens, they had a great opportunity to do this last week, but they did not do this last week. Now, granted, uh, obviously they didn't need to. They scored 25 points and they held it down, but this is something that you can use against the Cincinnati Bengals. So still give Zay Flowers his bubble screens, still give Zay Flowers his intermediate and deep passes for sure, but once you establish that, make it look like, all right, we about to go to Zay again. And you want to still have him moving in motion and whatnot, pre-snap. But deceive the Bengals. Make your offense unpredictable. So just when they think, all right, hey, this one's going to Zay Flowers. We see number four. We done seen this in the first quarter. We done seen this in the second quarter. Third quarter, oh, we all on in the second half. We're going to be all over number four, Zay Flowers. That rookie ain't doing nothing against us. Just when they think that. You fake the Zay. Oh, no. It ain't going to him. It's going to Mark Andrews. Oh, it ain't going to him. It's going to OBJ. Oh, it ain't going to him. It's going to Nelson. It's going to Doof. It's going to Gus. Use Zay Flowers as a decoy because if you establish him early, Bengals going to fall for it all second half for sure. Number two, score points. And yeah, this one sounds so obvious to a lot of us, but that's what the Baltimore Ravens have to do. Look, we know the Cincinnati Bengals last week, they only scored three points, but we ain't worried about last week. Last week was last week. They're going to be at their crib this week. They're going to have a lot of energy there, and they are going to want to prove like last week was a big time fluke. And you know the Cincinnati Bengals. They are one play away all the time. They are a very big play team as we've seen in the past from personal experience too, unfortunately. But they got Jamar Chase, they got T Higgins, they got Joe Burrow, they got, they got nice weapons and they got guys that can stretch the field. They got guys that can get yak. They got guys that can make people miss. So it's so important for the Baltimore Ravens to score points. Field goals, hey, that ain't gonna cut it. It can't be a game where you're just kicking field goal after field goal. No, you have to score not only points, but touchdowns. You have to get in that end zone because against this Cincinnati Bengals team, they are a quick strike team. Now, they, they could dink and dunk you up all day too, but you got to score points because if it's a shootout, which it very much could be, especially with the Ravens depleted as they are, you're going to need to score points to not only keep up, but you want to get up on these Cincinnati Bengals. And the number one thing the Baltimore Ravens have to do tomorrow in order to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals, pass rush. You got to get after Joe Burrow. You cannot let him have a clean pocket. You cannot have his vision where, I right, oh, I can look over here. See, clearly I can look over here. No, you need to get in his face early and often and throughout. If you can get after Joe Burrow, oh, you saw what the Browns did last week. You saw how they not only contained him, but they got after him. They hit Joe Burrow. They sacked Joe Burrow. They made Joe Burrow extremely uncomfortable. He was in that pocket like, oh man, what's gonna happen next? That's what the Baltimore Ravens need to do. David Ajabo, 
his very first strip sack in the NFL. It came against none other than Joe Burrow. Hey, run it back. Run it back. Adolfo away. Last week he had a good game, but this week he needs to have a great game. Justin Matter BK. Jadavian Clowney, like Ravens got some guys that can get after it, but it's a matter of them getting after it. Tell Orlando Brown Jr. like, look, you're on the other side now, and you need to move on out the way, my friend. Ravens, get after Joe Burrow big time. And if the Ravens can do these five things, I guarantee you they will have the victory.